All right, so today we're going to get a little bit more complicated with this. We're going to be expanding upon how we did conditionals before. So I'm going to make a very, like, strange system here, and you're going to be like, okay, what's going on? And we're going to kind of just get rid of our battlers for now because I don't want to overly complicate this one. So let's say instead of how we're doing things right now, and we can get rid of this stuff down here in the bottom too. Let's say that we're building a game, we're trying to do some kind of alchemy, right? We're trying to mix things together and create some kind of spell system where we can actually mix things together and create different spell effects. Let's go ahead and change the name of this Boolean and we'll call it, we'll call it Alchemize actually. That just sounds like a lot more fun. So we'll use a Boolean called Alchemize and this will kind of end our turn, right? And so if we go, if Alchemize and just kind of building the structure here, then we'll say Alchemize equals false. And then everything up above this will happen when we hit alchemize. So let's give us a, a couple different ingredients that we can combine together and they'll do different things. For instance, let's kind of just go ahead and serialize field bool and let's copy this. And we'll make a new one and let's call it earth. And we'll set that equal from the false. And then we'll serialize the field bool fire equals false and serialize field and bool wind equals false. So first thing first, let's go ahead and make everything set back to false when everything's done down here, just to make sure that we're completely reset, right? Because the way that this is going to work, and I'm going to show you inside of Unity real quick, without it functioning yet is inside the first script over here, we're going to be able to go with like, you can combine any of these, you can check any three of these, any combination of them, and it will do something if you click alchemize. So if we go earth and fire, then we will hit alchemize. And then theoretically, it should do something, right? So let's go and actually hit the play button. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. We hit both of these, and then we hit the alchemize, you see, they instantly get unchecked. So you can check any combination of these, you know, all three of them, and then check this and they don't get unchecked until we hit alchemize so there can be many different combinations and because there can be many different combinations if we just do if statements this won't work anymore and i'll show you why so let's say if earth and then if you do this two and symbols like this this checks to see if both things are true it'll only function if both things are true so earth fire and you can even make it so it does three different things and then it does win so if i was to like have this set to true and this set to true the system, what it does, what Mr. Translator does is he goes, okay, this is true. And this is true. And remember he goes left to right. So, and this, what this symbol right here means is both things need to be true for this to be true. This is actually one expression. So then it tends up making this true. Then it checks wind and then it goes, okay, that's false. And then it uses this and symbol again and it goes, okay, both things need to be true for this to be true. So it's false. Right. And that's what he ends up saying. And so then he doesn't run any of the stuff inside of here, how it's set up right now. So if everything is true, though, he will end up running everything inside of these brackets right here. Right. And we'll just simply say print you cast explosion. Right. And then we'll do different combinations, say earth and fire print you cast lava for a second discussion. Why don't you guys see if you can do all the other elemental combinations as a challenge? Go ahead and see if you can do that now. All right, so if fire and wind, then print you cast inferno, let's say, if wind and earth and earth. The order doesn't matter, by the way, if you guys can't tell. You cast nature, I guess. So I think that's all the combinations, right? So, and then we want to do just a single combination inside that. So earth and then print you cast rumble or something like that. If fire, print you cast fireball, maybe. Oh man. It's hard to get uh, creative with these. Uh, and if wind, then you print, you cast wind blade, let's say. A very simple magic system, right? So let's go ahead and see what happens when we go inside the game and use this magic system. If you couldn't follow along, go ahead and I'll zoom out enough where you guys can just pause it and copy all this if you want. Let's go back into Unity. Let's go into our council. Let's hit the play button. It's gonna go right outside the council right away. I'm gonna click back onto it. And so let's hit Earth and then let's hit Alchemize. And then boom, you cast Rumble. Really cool so far, right? Everything's working as expected. We can cast a fireball if we want, right? If we just hit Alchemize, nothing happens, which kind of stinks. But we can combine things too, right? So if we hit Earth and Fire, we should create lava. And we do, but the only problem is we end up casting Rumble and Fireball too. And that's not really what we want. We 
combine them so it should create just lava and not rumble and fireball too. Our magic system isn't quite working correctly. And the reason why is because it's going through all these if statements. Because it goes over here, it automatically goes down here too. So it goes from top to bottom automatically and it doesn't stop until it's all the way done. Well, there is a built in system inside of C sharp that will stop things from running if the top thing is true. And that's the if, else if, else system. So instead of just going if, you can go else if right here. And then this will only run if this isn't true. If we would have hit earth, fire, and wind, all of this would have been true all at once. So right now, I'm going to leave it just like this. We're going to hit earth, fire, and wind. You might not understand yet. That's okay. And let's see what happens. Earth, fire, wind, and then we'll hit, oh, we got to actually hit play. And then we'll go to the council and we'll hit alchemize. And boom, we cast explosion, we cast inferno, we cast nature, rumble, fireball, and wind blade. But we didn't cast is lava. This is the only spell we didn't cast. We cast every other one. You saw explosion, then you saw inferno next, and it went all the way down to wind blade, right? It didn't cast lava. And the reason why this happened is because it checked if this is true. And then because this was true, it didn't check this. This only runs. This else statement right here makes it so this will whatever's past this will only run if this was not true. If this was false up here, then this will run. But this right here had no else in front of it, so it still ran, and as did everything else below this. Now, what happens if I put an else right here? Well, you'll see a bug happen because there is no if statement before it, so there's nothing for it to check against. It can't check if the thing above it was false, right? And by the thing above it being false, by this right here checking to see if the thing above it's false, it checks to see if this was false. So if this was false, then this if statement runs. That's another way of putting this. So if we put an else in front of each one of these things, that means that only one of them will run because each one will only run if the thing above it is false. And so if we go and do this one more time, we uncheck all these boxes and then we hit the play button, everything will clear out for us. And then we can go ahead and hit like say earth and alchemize and you cast rumble. Now the problem before is if we combined elements, they didn't work right. But now if we combine elements, we just cast lava or if we combine all three, we cast explosion. So you get the point here. We can actually create ourselves a pretty cool system using if else if like that. Now there's one problem here and if I hit the play button one more time and that's if we just hit alchemize nothing happens and that's because we don't really have a thing at the end. Well there's nothing we can really write into an if statement because it would just be blank it just because alchemize is already true. So if we just hit else we just write in else like that without an if statement it doesn't check for anything else it just checks to see if everything above it so it goes okay I'll check all the way up to the if statement is what else means and then it'll check the parentheses for all those things if they were all false then it will go ahead and do whatever's inside of this and it'll say splash there we go he'll basically do the magic harp in that case you know so let's go ahead and hit the play button and then if we just go over here and when we combine all three elements boom it works but then if we just hit alchemize without anything then splash goes off so it's pretty cool and all the combinations work so that's really cool and that that's all there is to it guys that's all i really want to get through to you guys today is that the, you can do things like this if else if format down here one other thing i guess i can show you is that you can actually erase these uh these curly brackets and mr translator will automatically do whatever's on the next line he'll just automatically assume whatever's in the next line is in curly brackets so to him the curly brackets still exist in that case so if i do this this will run exactly the same as it did before it's a way to clean up code when you only have one thing happening after each if statement right it doesn't work perfectly if you mess up on anything but it works fine for our purposes right here just to show you guys in case you want to have your code look cleaner and you know more readable as we talked about before readability is like kind of one of your main goals for your code please like subscribe leave a comment let me know if you're liking the series what you would like to be improved upon i'm just trying to add some tools to your toolbox right now so go ahead and keep on trying to use them practice with them do something different with them see if you can create your own system with them this is just one example you're going to use if else ifs and else's a lot use them a ton inside of programming i hope that you guys are having the best day thank you for your time bye